I'd like to sample this TR808. So this little pattern here has just been designed so that I can capture each sound individually once I sample it. So I'm going to sample that little pattern directly into the Roland S770 and plug directly into the high quality inputs. Then, once I've sampled it, I'm going to play it back from a MIDI keyboard an octave higher. So all the drums will be pitched up an octave. Obviously that little loop will go faster. And then, because the Roland S range has a great little feature where it can sample itself internally, I'm going to resample the pitched, the octave higher loop. Then, with that loop, I'm going to copy it multiple times, edit the samples, and bring the pitch back down to its original, like this. The reason for that is character. Now, I've sampled the 808 before, I've sampled the 909, processed, unprocessed, all sorts of things. 12 bit, but never. That never like this actually, so this is a first time for me. Now it's time to do the TR808. As you can see on the screen there, I've got the 808 original pitch and the 808 plus 12, an octave higher, so it was resampled. So here's the original. And the resampled one. I've now edited the samples and we have a pitched version that was the the version that was uh, pitched an octave higher and then they're playing back at the original pitch and I have a version just the original unpitched just sampled and then edited but I'm gonna play them side by side on the door so you can get a better idea to hear if there's any difference. I've set up a little pattern here. Uh, the green one is the pitched version. That's the the sounds that were sampled an octave higher and now they're playing back at their original pitch. And this the blue one is the original. That's just the straight 808 samples just edited into a kit. So it's two kits playing and uh, well, see if you can hear any difference. Very subtle, isn't it? If you focus on the hi-hats on the pitched version, well, on both of them and try and compare, that's where you'll really hear it. The other, the other sounds, I, I hear a very subtle difference, but I hear it mostly on the hi-hats. Uh, the pitched version is a bit smoother. And let's put in a better reverb. The difference is very subtle, but there is a difference. And if you did this with synth sounds, bass sounds, the, the difference may be more exaggerated, more pronounced. I've realized as well that I probably should have sampled the pitch loop through the analog inputs rather than the internal digital conversion. And that's what I'm going to do. Unfortunately, you're not going to see this in video because I can't be, keep making videos about stuff because I'm working here. Um, and this is part of a sound design project that I'm working on. If you were to do this in 12-bit samplers or 8-bit samplers, 
the difference is going to be huge compared to what you're hearing here. But I actually do want high quality. I just want a little bit of a little bit of character, a little bit of difference rather than straight A to eight samples, you know. Bear in mind, you know, I'll tell a lot of people hail the glories of 12 and 8 bit yeah it's great for a sound in your track here and there but your entire track is made of 8 or 12 bit sounds it's going to get quite grainy i like the odd 8 12 bit sound in a track now and then okay so i hope you find this semi-interesting all right thanks for watching